Hello, my name is Julia and welcome back to the Coosters Hidden Ears channel. Today I'm going to be showing you... Yes, yes, Joseph. Today I'm going to be showing you how our family stores all of our homeschool materials and also what my grade one and two students do with Memoria Press. We wanted to teach our kids a classical curriculum and that is not something that is offered at all in Vancouver, British Columbia, as we see. There are many more choices when you go to the United States than you have in Canada. This piece of furniture holds all of the work for preschool, grade one, grade two, as well as some arts and crafts. These are just pillowcase bags I saved when we got linens and they work really well for these narrow drawers. I've tried little cups and things, but this saves space and it's all we need. Markers and then the last bag has pencil crayons and then oh, we've got a paint set and a few stray things in there. Uh, glue sticks. This is the preschooler's busy box. So things I have for the preschoolers to do when I'm working with the older ones are, I've got the water mat, I've got a couple of puzzles, I've got dominoes, the alphabet train, and then there's some um, Play-Doh and plaster scene in there too, and the game of trouble. They just like popping that. I might not have included everything, but these are the main things that I do with my grade one student. And so I'll start with every week we have the recitation and I showed you with my preschooler that I do take the time in the dollar store book to write out the recitation questions the children are to memorize each week. They print them up in their books and this is a good way of us reviewing each week and flipping through the main truths that we want to build upon each week. So that's something I take the time to do before the school year starts and it's been a big help to me. On the left hand side, I've also copied out the poem that we're gonna do just so we have it right in our recitation book so it's easy to refer to. Moving on to the math curriculum, uh, she has a few of these beginning arithmetic rod and staff books. And I think this is our third or, th or second of three books. And you can see here how it's laid out for the grade one student. To make things easy, I snip the corners as we go through the days, just so I know where we're at. So this is where we were in October. And then flipping through, we have, what's the page I was, we're on right now? We're up to here. So you can see it's gotten progressively more challenging. She's doing her subtraction facts to eight. And then she's doing um, her two digit addition. Uh, sometimes she doesn't have to do regrouping yet. That's something that uh, they start, I believe, in grade two. I've changed out all the American coins to Canadian coins just using my stamp. So that's a really easy trick if you are using an American book to just use some stamps there. I find with Memorial Press, they don't get, see enough the base 10 blocks to help them with their place value. I, they use crayons and boxes of 10 and boxes, cases of 100. That might work for some kids, but I still go back to the base 10 blocks to show ones, tens, and hundreds. And I borrow from the local library their base 10 set when we're learning this. So that's what I supplement with Memorial Press. That is something I would suggest they improve in is their place value instruction. In this shiny packet, we have all of our um, common sight words, consonant teams, and blends. And this will make sense when you have the Memoria Press um, books because they are referring to these cards a lot in the teacher's manual. It got to be too burdensome for me to every week slide out the cards that they needed. So I just keep them in blocks like this and then 
I've divided them in the little baggies and we've pulled them out and do all the cards um, throughout the week. If they learn something now that they don't get to for another month, that's fine. If they're reviewing cards that they did last month, that's fine too. Gemma's looking at Blaze and the Forest Fire right now. She's on to, this is the second Blaze book. So for grade one, I think this is very fine reading. And she is doing great with, she can read it independently. And she's answering her own reading comprehension questions and doing vocabulary as well. This is her work from today. Oh, Jojo. Jojo needs me too. Okay, pause. Okay, the kids are playing piano and playing upstairs after lunch, so I don't know how long I have to go through this. We have the Memorial Press copy book where the grade one students have to learn a poem or a scripture verse and then they print it and I really like how the spacing is in here and then they draw illustrations and this helps them to practice printing. Um, practice writing good English and I think it helps them to memorize them too. And then we have her cursive book. We're at this point in the year. So this is grade one cursive and she's not expected to do her reading comprehension and spelling words yet in cursive. She asked me sometimes to do it in cursive so that she can trace over because um, it's kind of a novel thing for her. Like here, she has me doing it in cursive. She's interested in it. This is her, her um, spelling workbook. Yeah. Here, there's extra review and practice, writing it out twice in this book. And then there's even another workbook. If that wasn't enough, you can do extra sheets to reinforce the words that you're on. So that is a that's all Memorial Press grade one. And I'll show you now how it looks all in the drawer. So this is all the grade one Memorial Press curriculum in the drawer. Okay, so this is grade two Memorial Press, as well as our own Christian Yay. curriculum that I've added in for you to see. And Memorial Press has this Christian Studies Enrichment, which accompanies the story Bible and they have questions that go beyond what's inside the Bible I showed you before at, and vocabulary. So you really can have a super in-depth discussion with your kids based on that. I showed you in grade one the different flashcards that we have. These are more for the grade two child. Um, I just keep them in a little bag and again I pull them out and we run through them as often as we can and both the grade one and two are familiar with these by now. This is uh, something we add in to the curriculum for her sacramental prep examination of conscience and active contrition. I'm not showing you her sins, I promise. Um, this is a template. This is something that gives them a little confidence going into the confessional if they have it written out for them. With math, Memorial Press has the addition and subtraction flashcards, but I also add in um, some Canadian money and time cards and this is a very helpful tool as well when you're showing time. I've made up my own Latin flashcards to do the numbers 1 to 20. Uh, we started doing this when the kids were in kindergarten so by grade 2 they're familiar with counting in English and Latin to 20. And then this is uh, Pia's second working arithmetic Rod and Staff book. She is, where is she today? So she's doing place value and she is doing subtraction. And I think there is some, there we use the Canadian stamps over the American ones when we're doing addition there. And she is having to borrow here. So sometimes it's too much in a day to do all that Memorial Press asks, so I'll just cut out a line. And really, I think she's getting enough review and practice there. 
a core of any classical curriculum is the Latin. And a memory class that starts in grade two. And so this is just my second run through it. I'm really hopeful that it'll, as I learn with the kids, it's getting easier and easier. Um, but I would really recommend Lay Lowe's Prima Latina for introductory Latin. And then here I have her cursive book. She likes to do cursive because it's pretty and she likes all things pretty and also she can get my fancy pens. And then we have the core skills book that's, that's assigned every other week or so. There's a few pages in this one. I'm being, I'm being found out now. There she was reviewing adjectives and adverbs. Oh, and a quick mention about Latin. So why do we teach them Latin? There are many English der derivatives that come from Latin. So you're giving your kids a boost there. It also is really, really helpful for teaching them the parts of speech. Hello, everyone. Can you just try to keep it down a little bit here? The Latin really helps the kids learn the parts of speech because they're coming across what a noun is, what a verb is what an adjective, what an adverb is. That's super helpful. Okay, there is no way that I can do YouTube without having introduction, distractions and interruptions. So if you're gonna watch this channel, you're going to hear lots of background noise. It's just inevitable in our house. Um, that's real life. So she's doing her novel right now, Little House in the Big Woods. And this is grade, grade two sentences. For the beginning of these, I think I talked to her about them. Sometimes I write out the sentences on another piece of paper and she copies. But other days she is good to sound out the words herself and do her own thing. I'm pretty pleased with her printing and her understanding, more importantly, in grade two of the concepts. Um, and then lots of spelling workbooks, just like with grade one, she has traditional spelling two. So there's about, there's four pages per lesson for each of the lessons a week with the Memoria Press. And we don't always do everything in this book. We skip to the supplemental workbook because sometimes their exercises are more interesting to do than in the other workbook. And then there's even practice sheets as well where the kids must write twice the words throughout the weeks. So it does move on to transitioning the kids to cursive by I'd say the middle of grade two. And so that's Pia's grade two cursive um, as of now. So uh, she's come a long way from grade one where she was introduced to cursive. Thank you so much for watching this episode of how our family organizes the homeschool materials. And if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to this growing new channel. Thanks so much. Bye now.